मिडल एजेस में रोमन्स वर द मोस्ट डेकेडेंट ऑफ द लॉट इन फैक्ट नॉट जस्ट डेकेडेंट ऑल्सो टोटली अयाश मगर चाहे पार्टीज जितनी भी करते हों लेंट के वक्त पे दे मेंटेन हाई रिलीजियस प्रोटोकॉल मैं भी हर साल लेंट में कई चीज़ें त्याग देती हूँ बट द रोमन्स नेवर एवर गेव अप ऑन देयर डिजर्ट्स स्पेशली देयर फ्लैंड टुडे एज एन ओ टू द रोमन्स वी शॉल मेक अ पेयर एंड हेजल एंड फ्लैन दैट्स टोटली डेकेडेड The first thing we're going to do is start with our caramel. So for our caramel, we need some caster sugar. You put a non-stick pan on the fire, and then into this, we put our sugar. In this glass bowl, I'm going to combine a few ingredients. We need cream. Into this cream. We're going to add condensed milk, and next we're going to be putting our toasted hazelnut powder. And last but not the least, five beautiful full eggs. We then are going to put. Vanilla essence. So as you can see the texture of this caramel has completely changed and now I've increased the fire and I'm going to actually brown this to the color that I desire. So to be a little careful because you don't want to burn it. Ooh. I'm going to pour this into both these ramekins and leave them right here to cool. Now I'm going to get back to the flan bit of it. So here with a nice hand blender very slowly. This is completely done. So I'm going to ladle this custard into the ramekins. Romans were very very fond of their baths. So what we're going to prepare now is a little water bath for our flan. <laughs> so it's very really simple. We put our ramekins into this big bowl. We fill this with water. So this flan is going to be baked in the oven at 170 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes I'm going to check it with a skewer or with a toothpick and if it comes out clean it's done. If not then I think about 10 minutes more. Absolutely clean, which means this is done. Now all I need to do is just caramelize these pears that I have already sliced. Some sugar. So you need to cool the flan before you eat or before you demold it because if it is hot then you will just kind of break it and it also tastes much nicer when it is chilled just caramelize these pears that i have already sliced okay our flan is nicely cooled so what i'm going to do is very carefully run this knife along the edge of my flan right to the bottom oh 
Okay. And now I'm going to unmold it. Let us now put our caramelized pears into our plate. And a tiny little piece of mint. So this is it. You take a recap and come back really quick. For making pear and hazelnut flan, melt 100 gram sugar in a pan and cook it until it caramelizes into a brown color. Pour the caramelized sugar in the ramekin cups. Now in a bowl, add 150 ml fresh cream, 150 gram sweetened condensed milk, 1 cup toasted hazelnut powder, 5 eggs, 2 teaspoon vanilla essence and whisk it into a homogeneous mixture. Pour the prepared mixture into the ramekin cups and place them inside the baking tray. Pour 200 ml water inside the baking tray. Now in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius, bake for 30 minutes. Take four sliced pear wedges and sprinkle two to three teaspoon sugar over it. Blowtorch the sugar until it turns into a golden brown color. Demold the hazelnut flan and place the pear wedges along with the dish. Garnish the flan with a mint sprig. Your pear and hazelnut flan is ready. Mm.